Bit more sensor in Wally range. The Manchester Mystics and the Manchester Valkyries. The Manchester Valkyries newly inducted into Division Two, and the Manchester Mystics coming into their second season. So, first game of the 2022-23 season for both of these teams as they face off against each other today in just a, a few minutes' time. Mystics last year finished third in D2 North with a 11 and 5 record. They made it to the Division 2 playoff finals where they faced uh, a very strong Sheffield team coming up a little bit short against them. So they're looking to run it back this year. Losing a, a few a few players from the program. Charlie Rowe is in Sheffield this year in the, for the WBBL Hatters. And they have added some players as well. The big addition for this off-season, though, for the Mystics, is the addition of Rahana Khalil. Part of that historic cup final winning Stockport Lapwings team in the NBL Cup final over Solon in January last year, where the Division Two team knocked out the Division One team in the Solon Kestrels in what was probably one of the best games I've I've ever seen um, live in person on TV. It was a, an epic game. It's got everything you want. It's super close. So if you've not watched that, go check that out on the Basketball England YouTube channel. Uh, but for today's game. Just uh, a minute half away from tip-off, we've got the rosters for both teams. For the Manchester Mystics, we have Saffron Irving Murphy, Daisy Bryan, Grace Tuck, Lola May Whittle, Natalie Lamb, Neve Kelshaw, Becky Bellis, Nat Furtado, Hannah Alti, Isha Nea, Holly Bryan and Rahana Khalil. And for the Manchester Valkyries, we have Angel Konomi, Melissa Golab, Amy Russell, Larissa Herriman, Chloe Cousins, Melody Stephen, Danielle Johnson, Essie Asante, Kaylee Johnson, Susan Furman, and LEC Middleton. Starting fives today for the Mystics, we have Neve Kelshaw, Becky Bellis, Nat Furtado, Hannah Alti, and Rahana Khalil making her first start in the Division Two with the Mystics. For the Valkyries, we've got Angel Konomi, Kaylee Johnson, Susan Furman, Chloe Cousins, and LEC Middleton. So going to be a very exciting, interesting game today as well. Both these teams, players are going to be pretty familiar with each other. With each other. We've got uh, a few players that have played together at under-16 level at the Mystics. And they're going to they're gonna know each other, be familiar with each other's games. And it's always good to see the, the wealth of talent and the breadth of talent that the Manchester programme creates and see players going far with it. So teams coming onto court, Manchester playing in blue today and the Valkyries in black. Sorry, Mystics in blue, Manchester won't help today with the two Manchester teams. So Mystics in blue, Valkyries in black. And this is the first home game of the Mystics campaign this season. We'll be bringing you all the home games on the Manchester Magic and Mystics YouTube channel, so make sure to like and subscribe and get down to the Wally Range Basketball Centre. See it in person, we've got quite a nice crowd building up today and expecting a great atmosphere. So for the jump we've got Becky Bellis for Manchester for the Mystics and Elise Middleton for the Valkyries. The ball is up and into the hands of the Mystics for the first possession. Kelshaw over to Bellis. Bellis looks to go inside. Drives and ball comes loose. And it's going to be off the Valkyrie, off the Mystics. 
Sorry, off the Valkyries it is, and it's going to stay with the Mystics. So Kelshaw to inbound. Kelshaw over to Khalil. Khalil takes it inside, all the way, can't get it to go. Back into the hands of the Valkyries. Valkyries passing round. Over to Cousins and ball's out of bounds. Mystic's ball. Khalil controlling things for the Mystics. Hands it off to Kelshaw and gets it back. Kelshaw inside to Furtado. Furtado off the glass, too strong. Gets her own rebound, puts it back. Can't finish. Alti's there. Can't get that one back. Furtado comes up with it. Another 14 on the clock. Over to Kelshaw who banks it in. First point of the game for the Mystics. Johnson over to Cousins. Swings it round. Three's up and that's good. Valkyries take a quick one point lead. Bellis backs out to Khalil. Khalil takes two players on. Alti is just going to step out of bounds and ball is back with the Valkyries. D from the Mystics, but it's still going to stay with the Valkyries. Balls into Konomi. Konomi against Kelshaw. She's looking for the screen. Cousins trying to help her. Hands it off. Cousins swings it round. Konomi. Got seven on the shot clock. Konomi over to Cousins. Kicks it out, shots up, and another three. It was Kaylee Johnson. And Khalil passes over to Furtado. She can't make the basket, but she's going to head to the foul line. It's going to be first foul on the Valkyries. And that Furtado, as she heads to the line, she's a player that we've seen over the years in the WBBL with the Manchester Mystics. She's going to bring a, a wealth of experience to this team. First shot's good. And second one doesn't drop. Valkyries with a three-point lead. Cousins it out, looks to swing it around to Konomi. Over to Furman. Konomi looking for some help, Cousins is there. Her pass inside which is not to where I think. And that's going to be a shot clock violation, so some great D from the Mystics on that possession. So Khalil brings the ball up. Kelshaw, scoop layup, drops in. Two points for the Mystics. Pass is blocked by Khalil. And she's all alone. And lays it in. Two points for Rahana Khalil. And intercepted, Becky Bellis goes all the way and drops it in. A great run from the Mystics. Cousins working against Furtado. Furtado to Alti. And Valkyries get it back. Three's up. And again, another three from the Valkyries. Susan Furman drops it in. Ties the game at nine. And that shot's no good for the Mystics. Furman with a rebound. Johnson 
Turns it around to Konomi. Passes it back. Around the outside, Cousins with the short jumper doesn't go into the hands of Furtado. Khalil. Inside to Alti. Alti's got space underneath, passes it out. Bellis is there as she drives inside and can't get that one to fall. Gets her own rebound though in the putback. And we're going to have a substitution. As Danielle Johnson. And Melody Stephen come into the game for the Valkyries. And Alti's shot doesn't fall. So Valkyrie's back. Mystics with a two-point lead. 5.46 to go in the first. Golab passes around. That shot's no good for the... Valkyries, Khalil comes up with the rebound. Khalil over to Alti. Passes intercepted by Konomi. Over to Golab. Konomi. And that's going to be offensive foul on the Valkyries. The ball goes back the way of the Mystics. Holly Bryan coming into the game for the first time for Hannah Alty. And Hannah Alty having a, a busy season this year, head coach uh, of the Mystics alongside Nat Furtado and Holly Bryan. She's also coaching under 16 and under 18 Mystics as well as playing. So very busy schedule for her. So as we head into this timeout, 5-11 left in the first quarter. 11-9 to nine at Mystics lead. Becky Bellis and Neve Kelsher with four points apiece for the Mystics. And this game is shaping up to be the, the close, exciting one that we thought it would be with these two Manchester teams. So... As we said, the Mystics made it to the, the final, the playoff final in Division 2 last season. And came up against a, a very experienced Sheffield team. Um, so having added some of the uh, experience that they have with Khalil and Furtado, it's a good, uh, a really solid, solid pick up for them. And teams coming back on court. Kelsha hands it over to Brian. Brian to Khalil. Furtado. And ball's loose. Brian's come up with it. And can't quite finish that one. Valkyrie's grabbed the rebound. And Johnson driving all the way. Can't get it to finish. Some great deed from Rahana Khalil as she hands it over to Nat Furtado who's just going to lay it in. Great move from Nat Furtado. Gives the Mystics a four-point lead. Konomi inside. Pass over to Johnson. Ball out, it's going to stay with the Valkyries. Khalil can't keep it in. Apologies if there's any issue with the uh, the picture at the moment. The uh, there are some internet issues in the centre. Um, any problems with the stream? Though we'll get it get it uploaded straight after the game um, that you can watch in full. Konomi for three and can't get that one to drop. Ball's out and it's going to go stay with the Valkyries. Konomi with the inbound. And great D from Lamb, who steals it away. 
Bellis is there on the break and knocked out. It's going to stay with the Mystics. As Natalie Lamb into the game for the first time for the Mystics, Puts, pulls up a great defensive possession on her, her first go. Khalil. Kelshaw fakes it back. Khalil gets it back. An easy lay in off the glass. Johnson. Driving against Bellis. Swings it round. Golab passes inside. Middleton's working and off the glass. Can't get that one to fall. Khalil with another rebound. And it's going to go out. Can't quite keep control of it. Back with the Valkyries. The Mystics have a six point lead here in the first quarter. 3.36 to go. Johnson over to Konomi. Six on the shot clock. Konomi inside to Middleton. Scoop layup won't go, and that'll be a shot clock violation. Mystics doing a great job on D. Bryan on the break. Holly Bryan lays it up and one. Counts it and the foul. Holly Bryan's going to head to the line at a chance to turn two into three. Mystics having a great run. The 17-9 Mystics lead. Holly Bryan at the line. And Holly, another player with WBBL experience playing for the, the Manchester Met Mystics the last couple of seasons. With them again this season as she hits the free throw. Konomi. Guarded by Lamb. Konomi needs to get it over the halfway line. She just passes back. Ball's loose, Lamb's got it over to Brian. Brian puts it up, can't get it to fall, grabs her own rebound, puts it back, it won't go. Uh, it's going to be a travel call and stay with the Mystics. Some great work from the Mystics defensively on that possession, just couldn't finish. Khalil to inbound. Into Kelshaw, who <laughs> lays it in. Great move from Neve Kelshaw. She's got six in today's game. Russell over to. Oh, big block from Rahana Khalil. And that is off the Valkyries, so, stay, so back with the Mystics. Khalil, over to Lamb, Lamb thought about the shot, back with Khalil, eight on the shot clock, Khalil trying to get inside, ball stolen away, Valkyrie's one on two and that layup's not going to go, Golab can't get it to, to drop in, Khalil over to Kelshaw, Lamb, inside to Brian. Mystics swinging the ball out, three is up, and that is good. Rahana Khalil with a big three for the Mystics. Golab. Valkyries need to get some points on the board here towards the end of the first. Konomi's three is up, and that one's not going to fall into the hands of Bellis. Khalil. Inside to Holly Bryan, who lays it in. And that is a brilliant pass from Rahana Khalil. Twenty-four to nine. Mystics lead. Goal abs driving. And it's gonna be a jump ball call. As Lola May Whittle comes into the game for the Mystics. And Lamb intercepts it again. Another steal for her. She's going all the way and lays it up and in.
26 to 9, Mystics lead just over a minute to go in the first. Golab looking inside. And that's going to be a foul on Whittle. Over to Russell. Got six on the shot clock. Three to shoot. Uh, shot clock violation. Mystic's doing a, a great job defensively. So 34 seconds in the quarter. Lamb all alone under the basket puts it in for the Mystics. Another two on the board for them. Johnson going all the way and she's going to get the foul call so she's going to head to the line. Apologies uh, if there's any issue with the picture. They, they have obviously some internet issues in the center, but we'll get the game uploaded straight afterwards. I know that's not uh, as good as watching it live. Twelve seconds to shoot, and Lamb with another steal for the Mystics. She goes all the way and lays it in. Natalie Lamb with some great defense for the Mystics, turning it straight into offense. And that'll do it for the end of the first quarter. 30 to nine, Valkyries lead. Sorry, Mystics lead over the Valkyries. We're just gonna take a quick break for this, uh, the end of the quarter, and we'll be back with you shortly. Right, ready to get the second quarter underway. Again, apologies if there's any issues with the uh, with the picture. We will get the, the game uploaded afterwards. So, going into the second quarter, Mystics with a 30 to nine lead. Lamb over to Whittle. Whittle to Bellis. Bellis up to Alti. Alti drives, fakes the pass, can't get it to, to fall, but a great move to the basket from Hannah Alti. As Konomi brings it up for the Valkyries. Looking for some help, swings it around to Johnson. And inside, and a great pass over to Asante, can't quite finish that. Brian comes up with it, Lamb's powering up the court, hands it off. Whittle brings it out. Bellis, three is up, and that is good. Becky Bellis with a three for the Mystics. 
seven points in the game for her today. Stolen away again by Lamb. You must have three or four in the game. All the way behind the back pass and Alty just couldn't quite get her hands on that one. Oh, we were about to see a highlight reel play there. Super impressive play from Natalie Lamb in today's game so far. She's definitely, yeah, three or four steals so far and she's converting on the other end. Oh, we're getting some showtime play here. So Valkyries with the inbound. Mystic's putting on a full court press. Konomi. Uh, ball's out of bounds. We're going to stay with the Valkyries. Pass inside. Middleton. Working against Alti. Hands it off to Cousins. And Cousin gets the ball to drop. 11 points on the board for the Valkyries. Lamb. Pass inside to Alti. It out to Whittle, back to Alte. She's working her way inside, can't quite finish. Brian gets the rebound out to Lamb. Lamb puts up a three, and the arc oh, on that. Oh my goodness, Natalie Lamb doing a bit of everything for the Mystics. She's got nine points and loads of steals. Brian inside, passes knocked away. Valkyrie's coming back on the attack, two on two break. Cousins. Against Bellas, can't quite keep hold of it. Going to go back with the Mystics. Natalie Lamb, what a performance she's having today. As she brings the ball up for the Mystics. 36-11 with 7.50 to go in the second quarter. Brian to Whittle. Uh, it's going to be a travel call on the Mystics. So back with the Valkyries. Stolen away by Becky Bellis. Whittle manages to keep hold of it. Passes it over to Bellis. Lamb. Alt is coming back up. And inside to Bellis. Scoop layup. Gets it to drop. And a great move by Becky Bellis to get to the basket and finish on that play. As we see Grace Tuck and Ishanea come into the game for the first time. Natalie Lamb and Holly Bryan are going to take a seat for the Mystics as Kaylee Johnson comes in. And Essie Asante heads to the bench for the Valkyries. Paul's back with the Mystics. Bellis inside, works away inside. Becky Bellis with another two points. Cousins. And Konomi just can't keep a hold of that one. As you got a timeout. So 40 11 Mystics lead with 7.06 to go in the second quarter. So it seems back on court. And Mystics will have the inbound. Tuck to Alti. 
Whittle drives baseline, kicks it out. Nea with the floater, can't get that one to drop. Valtteri's grabbed the rebound. Cousins goes all the way and she gets the basket and the foul. She's going to head to the line. And a great move by Chloe Cousins to get to the basket. Draws the foul. As she looks to, to convert to a three-point play. And she can't get that one to finish. Tuck with the rebound. Over to Whittle. And it's going to be a backcourt violation. Just stepped over the line. So ball's back with the Valkyries. Middleton, over to Konomi. Middleton to Cousins. One on the shot clock, needs to get something off. That's gonna be after the buzzer. So ball is back with the Mystics. Mystics doing a really fantastic job in today's game of forcing the Valkyries into that 24 second violation, into those turnovers. Something we saw them do a lot last season, um, obviously a you know, a very defensively minded club. Um, that's something that they, they still continue to do. Brian over to Nea, into Alti. Swings it round. Tuck grabs it. Back over to Alti. Drives baseline. Jumper's no good. And into the hands of Brian. Alti with the shot. And that's good. Short jumper for Hannah Alti. is up for the Valkyries and banks it in. And that's going to be a foul call, so Isha is going to head to the line. First shot is good. And the second one just rolls out. Valtteri's back, 43-16, Mystics lead. Long two from the corner, that one's no good. Brian gets the rebound. Lamp over to Alti. Brian's going to slow it down. That's Daisy Brian, the uh, younger sister of Holly Brian, as Tuck will just step out of bounds on that one, so ball goes back with the Valkyries. Middleton inside, works away in, that's going to be a travel call, so ball goes back with the Mystics. Took with the inbound over to Brian. Brian over to Tuck inside, Altsy with a great pass to Nea. Nat Furtado check into the game 
and Hannah Alte is going to take a seat. We didn't quite catch what happened there, um, but the ball is with the Valkyries. Johnson over to Konomi. Konomi to Cousins. Cousins almost loses it, picked up. And intercepted again by the Mystics. Whistle. Sorry, that's Irving Murphy who's coming to the game for the Mystics for the first time. Can't get that one to fall. Valkyrie's coming back. Konomi over to Middleton. Middleton steps inside and gets that one to fall. And some great D from Nat Furtado there. But Middleton just still managed to finish the basket. Furtado. And she's going to get fouled on that possession. Substitution, we have got Larissa Herriman and Danielle Johnson coming back into the game for the Valkyries. And Irving Murphy for the Mystics. Passes inside to Furtado, she can't finish that one. Valkyries with the rebound, Johnson. Johnson against Bryan, kicks it out to Konomi. Cousins, swinging it round. Konomi, got five on the shot clock. Puts the shot up, that was just a bit short, and it's gonna go out, so Mystics get the ball back. Sorry, that's going to be end line Valkyrie's ball. As Naya drives to the basket and drops two in. Gives us three points in today's game. 45-18, Mystics lead. Nice ball is knocked out, so back with the Mystics. Took from the corner, three doesn't fall. Furtado gets the rebound, passes out. Safran, Irving Murphy, and can't get that one to fall. And Saffron, a player again with a bit of WBBL experience a couple of seasons ago. She played with the Mystics. And got some valuable court time. Johnson driving all the way to the basket. Konomi swings it round. Shot is up and Johnson's three won't go. Just under two minutes to go in the half. Irving Murphy. Brian to Furtado, swings it round. Tuck's going to try the three and hits it. Grace Tuck with a huge three for the Mystics. 48-18, Mystics lead. Johnson off the glass and lays it in. Tough shot from her. Really great finish on that possession. Takes the Valkyries to 20. Tuck over to Irving Murphy. And Cousins gets a hand on that, but it's going to stay with the Mystics. As Khalil and Holly Bryan look to check into the game for the Mystics. Grace Tuck heading to the bench. Along with Ishanea. Mystics with a really strong performance this half. Bryan in the corner, hits a three. Daisy Bryan getting in on the action as well. Yeah. 
Khalil on Konomi. Passes inside, great pass inside. Two Mystics players are on her. Back out to Johnson for three. That one's not going to go into the hands of Holly Bryan. Irving Murphy's there. Driving, can't quite finish. And Furtado throws herself in to get that rebound. And that Furtado really putting a body on the line there to grab the rebound. Brian over to Furtado. Brian, Irving Murphy. Irving Murphy swings it out. Six on the shot clock. Khalil shot up and nothing but net. Rahana Khalil with three for the Mystics. Gives the 10 points in the game. Oh, it was a long two. They called it a long two. 53-20. <laughs> Mystics lead with 22 seconds to go in the first half. Inbound Valkyries, Asante. Six second difference between the game and the shot clock. Seven, Asante, guided by Irving Murphy. That's going to be a foul on Saffron. Her first. So five seconds on the clock will be reset. So 12 in the quarter. Golab with the shot. That's going to go. Great move to the basket for her. Khalil, five on the shot clock. Four, three. Brian's shot is blocked. And Miss Valkyries will dribble it out for the end of the quarter. So that's going to do it for the first half. 53-22, Mystics lead with some really strong performances. Rahana Khalil has nine points in the game. Becky Bellis has 11 real all-around team performance everyone getting in on the action and you know the mystics are, are doing a bit of everything really they're hitting threes they're able to get some steals natalie lamb with a, a handful of steals so far in today's game really impressive performance from them and this mystics team have, have come out very strong um looking to, to pick up essentially where they left off towards the end of last season this is a team that did make it to the playoff finals in division two and gonna want to try and make it back there this season and the Manchester Valkyries, you know, a tough, a tough start to today's game. Newly into Division 2, uh, but they've had some, you know, the, the Mystics are a tough team to come up against, but the Valkyries have definitely had some spurts, some uh, a really good run to start the game as well with uh, taking the lead early on. Just haven't quite been able to counter that Mystics defence that they've come up against. So teams heading to the locker rooms at halftime, going to talk things over and uh, we'll see what, uh, what they come out with in the third. So we'll be back with you in around eight minutes time. And again, apologies for any internet issues. We'll get the game re-uploaded if, uh, if it's, uh, it's carrying on. We'll get it uploaded straight after today's game.
Welcome back to the Manchester Basketball Centre in Wally Range. I'm not at the National Basketball Performance Centre, which is where I'm used to being. Um, we're here for the second half of the Manchester Mystics versus the Manchester Valkyries in Division 2. Manchester Mystics with a 53-22 to 22 lead as we come out of the half. They are led by Rahana Khalil with 9 points and Becky Bellis with 11 as the Valkyries inbound and get things underway for the third quarter. And Johnson drives to the basket, kicks it back out, hands it off. Gets it back, eight on the shot clock. Johnson passes out and ball just doesn't drop there for the Valkyries. Khalil over to Bellis. Bellis into Furtado, she's doubled. And <laughs> tried to bounce the ball off the players there, didn't work, but it's Valkyries get it back. And Golab is going to power to the basket, but that is going to be classed as a foul, offensive foul on the Valkyries. So Mystics with the inbound, Kelshaw. Over to Khalil. Furtado shots up and that one doesn't go. Johnson for the Valkyries driving all the way. She's rejected by Neve Kelshaw. Ah no, they're going to call a foul. It was a, a block with a bit of a foul on the end. So Danielle Johnson heads to the line. One of the players that did play for the Mystics at the under-16 category, so she'll be familiar with some of these players. Her first shot bounces out. And second one is good. Becky Bellis all alone under the basket drops that in takes her to 13 in the game and the Mystics to 55 Johnson swings it round step back three and shot is up but no good Valkyries with the rebound Middleton underneath she's going to get the basket and head to the line and Elise Middleton with a tough shot, able to finish under the basket. As Middleton's shot doesn't fall, Khalil gets the rebound. Hands it off to Kelshaw. Kelshaw swings it out. Bellis, three is up and that one's not going to go. Khalil with another rebound into Alte. Kelshaw to Furtado and miss as she lays that one in. But Mystic's doing a fantastic job of just making that extra pass. Not making any quick shots when they don't have to. They're looking for that extra player. Moving the ball around to take the, the right shot. And it's really impressive to see. Especially with a, a group that have some new additions as well shots up for the Valkyries that one is going to bounce everywhere and then it's finally going to drop in Essie Asante with two points for the Valkyries Ulti baseline off the glass and in Johnson for the Valkyries she comes up against Khalil Johnson and just going to lose it off a fingertip so it's going to go out. Substitution for the Valkyries. Amy Russell's going to come back into the game. As Larissa Herriman heads to the bench. So 7.30 to go in the third quarter. Bellis over to Furtado. Kelshaw to Alti. And pass there was broken up. Kelshaw wasn't expecting it back. 
Johnson. Short jumper baseline is good. And Valkyries doing a good job this third quarter, coming out of halftime, able to get some points on the board, but getting to, get into the basket and getting those shots. Alti's pass to Kelshaw. Swings it round. Alti from the shoulder and nails it. He's going to take it to a 61-29 lead for the Mystics with 6.57 to go in the third quarter. Becky Bellis with 13 points in the game today, leading the Mystics. She's having a fantastic game. And also doing the, uh, the Becky Bellis thing of uh, rebounding, getting in the way on defense, being a, a, a pesky defender, as, uh, <laughs> as me and Adam Masters from Brand 161 like to... to to designate our favourite defensive players. Those players that you would hate to play against, but you uh, would love on your team. Becky does a fantastic job defensively, just forcing teams into a, a difficult shot. So coming back on court, Natalie Lamb is coming back into the game. And Natalie with a really impressive first half. She's got nine points and uh, definitely a handful of steals so far. So it'd be great to see what she can do in this second half. So Valkyries with the inbound. Johnson bringing the ball up. She goes against Gattardo off the screen from Middleton. Swings it round. Russell loses it. Lamb comes up with it again. There we go. Natalie Lamb with another steal. Brian passes it over to Furtado, high off the glass, Nat Furtado with a great assist from Holly Bryan. As that's going to be <laughs> called a foul. <laughs> Natalie uh, Furtado and New Calshaw's faces, <laughs> I don't think they agree with that one. That's what it was called, but uh, some great, great double teaming to start there. Johnson. Gets things underway for the Valkyries. She's driving, kicks out, Middleton. Swings it over, Johnson, shot is up and that one just bounces out, unlucky. But the putback is good for the Valkyries. Lamb, spins. Is it over to Brian? Kelshaw into Furtado against Middleton. Strong pass from Furtado over to Bellis. Tado gets the rebound, can't quite finish, and it's going to be foul call. So you can see who that was on. It's on the Valkyries. Sorry, on the Mystics. That's their fourth team foul of the quarter so far. Lama picks the ball up, steals it away again. She's on the break with Furtado. She's going all the way, scoops it up. Can't quite get it to finish. And Bryant tries for the jump ball, doesn't go. Johnson. Over to Russell. Russell's got space. Kicks it round. And Melissa Golab's coming back in for the Valkyries. And we see Grace Tuck back in for the Mystics. So Natalie Lamb, just as, you know, talking about how good a first quarter she had with her, with her steals and her points, she's, uh, she just comes back in, grabs another two steals as well. Asante. Two on the shot clock for the Valkyries. Needs to put something up. She does think one of the Mystics got a hand on that one, looked a little bit short. As Tuck comes powering down the court, she's going to take it all away. Layup's a bit too strong. Back into the hands of the Valkyries. Johnson leading things for the Valkyries. Drives. Can't get that one to fall. Bellis comes up with it. Lamb's there on the break as she lays it in for two. Two more points for Natalie Lamb. Gives her 11. And loads of steals. We don't have live stats for uh, for this one, but loads of steals is definitely a very good description of how many Natalie Lamb has in today's game. Valkyries can't get that one to drop. 
been a bit unlucky with some of the bounces on these shots. Bellis over to Brian, and Brian can't finish that one. As they dive on the floor trying to grab the ball, but Valkyrie's come up with it. Asante. Setting things up for the Valkyries. Swings it round outside. Asante with a short jumper. Just a bit too short. And it won't go. Kelshaw gets the rebound for the Mystics. Lamb with a no-look pass to Holly Bryan. Over to Becky Bellis. Drives, steps through, dances away inside. Can't finish. And some great D down here trying to pressure the Valkyries into the getting the ball over the line. Johnson does, and it's just tapped away by Grace Tuck, so it's going to stay with the Mystics. But great job from Grace Tuck there, chasing the ball down and pushing it out of bounds. As we see Daisy Bryan and Isha Naya come into the game for the Mystics. As Konomi works off the screen. Passes it round. Steps through and Golab manages to finish on that one. Tough basket from Melissa Golab. She's been very impressive in today's game for the Valkyries. Able to get to the basket. Brian over to Brian. Tuck. Drives baseline. Passes back to Naya. Brian over to Brian. Six on the shot clock. Naya manages to keep hold of that, keeps it alive, can't get it to finish, gets her own rebound. And it's going to be out of bounds and stay with the Mystics. A great effort from Naya on that possession. Kelshaw to Brian. Oh, sorry, to Naya. Tuck. Brian on the three point line drives inside and she's gonna, that one's not gonna fall, but she's gonna head to the line. It's only the uh, second foul on the Valkyries this quarter. So Holly Bryan for two. First one doesn't go. Second one's good. As Elise Middleton checks back in for the Valkyries. 66 to 33, the Mystics lead. We've got 2.52 to go in the third quarter. As Konomi brings the ball up for the Valkyries. Konomi hands it up to Johnson. Johnson tries to keep it alive. Kelshaw steals it away. Kelshaw on the break. She's going all the way off the glass. Can't get that one to fall. Brian comes powering in for the rebound. Can't quite get it. As Golab comes up with it. Golab over to Middleton. Konomi going to slow things down a little bit. Set things up for the Valkyries. Shot is up and it's just a bit too strong. But Middleton comes up with the rebound. Kicks it out. And shots again, just a bit too short for the Valkyries. But doing a great job on the offensive boards in this possession. <laughs> Manages to keep it alive. Konomi comes up with it. Johnson's shot is up. Gets her own rebound. Again, another offensive board for the Valkyries. But she's just going to come up against Holly Bryan, who steals that one away. As Kelshaw swings it around to Daisy Bryan. Her three is up, and that one's not going to go. Angel Konomi keeping it alive for the Valkyries. Her three's up and again just a bit short of the front rim. Not able to keep it inside. And Kelshaw comes up. Hands off to Brian, swings it round to Brian. Long two and that is good for Daisy Brian. Gives her five points in the game today. Mystics really getting contributions from everyone that's been on the court today. Johnson. Konomi's three is up and I think it some, looked like someone got a hand on that, blocked it a little bit as Middleton and Kelso jump in for the jump ball. It is going to go the way of the Mystics. 
So Chloe Cousins back in for the Valkyries and we see Saffron Irving Murphy back for the Mystics. Holly Bryan bringing the ball up for the Mystics just under a minute to go in the third. Grace Tuck drives baseline, swings it round, passes intercepted by Cousins. She swings it round. Konomi looking inside to Middleton and just off the fingertips of Middleton. Last 30 seconds of the third. Tuck for three. Doesn't fall. Konomi with the rebound. Cousins was on the break there, just couldn't quite get in sync. As Tuck steps inside, can't get the layup to go. Cousins, 12 on the shot clock, puts the shot up. I think she didn't quite, had a bit more time than she thought she might have done. Seven to go now with Holly Bryan. Swings it round to Saffron Irving Murphy, who doesn't get that layup to fall and that's going to do it for the end of the third quarter 68 to 33 Manchester Mystics lead um, a much a much better performance from the Valkyries in that third quarter offensively you know it's tough to be down uh, as, as much as they are but you know a lot of positives that they can take from that third quarter definitely a, a much stronger offensive quarter than we've seen uh, in the first half so I think we've got just double checking the clock. It looks like we might still have one second on the shot clock before we actually officially end the third. So the table officials just talking things over. We get one second. Oh, it's been reset to 0 0.5 seconds in the third. So Mystics with a quick catch and tap in as Brian's shot is up and doesn't go at the buzzer so that will do it now for the end of the third quarter um, and yeah like we were saying Valkyries you know not 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 uh, it's not maybe the close game that we maybe expected but the Valkyries with a, a much improved performance in that third quarter and in games like this it's always it's always tough to be down but it's always an opportunity for coaches to try and run some plays get to know their roster you know in a real life game situation because we don't see anything that does replicate the um you know the, the the real life basketball situation you can practice and you can try it out as many times as you want in practice but until you um come up against an actual team in a, a real life situation um it doesn't it's a totally different beast so valkyries with uh, some good opportunities to you know see what works for them see what combinations of players work well um get some some plays going as well so the Valkyries actually, they play in a couple of weeks against the team Sunderland. They're going to be away in Sunderland on the 29th of October. The Mystics will be back in action here in the National Cup um, next Sunday, the 23rd, against the Bromsgrove Bears, and then back in the Championship uh, away to Sheffield on November the 5th. We will, of course, bring you the next home game on the 23rd in the National Cup and all of the home games throughout this season. So as we head into the fourth quarter, I think the Mystics are going to be very pleased with how they've performed so far. Again, a real all-round team performance. 13 points from Becky Bellis, 11 from Natalie Lamb, and 9 from Rahana Khalil. And they're going to want to keep, keep increasing that score. They're not going to be satisfied with this. They want to put the pressure on and just bank in as many points as they can as uh, so Becky Bellis runs in and <laughs> knocks it away but it's going to stay with the Valkyries and that's the that's the thing that you like to see with the Mystics yes they're up you know 30 plus but they're still putting that effort in defensively which is a really really good habit for teams to be in and speaks a lot to the culture of this club shots up for the Valkyries that doesn't go for Golab Khalil comes up with the rebound. Over to Kelshaw. Khalil gets it back. Just setting things up. Hands it off to Kelshaw and gets it back. 
And Konomi steals it away. And then Kelshaw steals it straight back. Passes inside to Furtado. A bit too strong off the glass on that one. As Golab comes up with it. And if you're the Valkyries here, you just want to take it possession by possession. Just chip chip away into the lead and see what see what you can do. Like we said, time to run some plays, see what works, see what doesn't work. Get some good combinations on court. So it's knocked away, but staying with the Valkyries. It's going to be Cousins with the inbound. Cousins needs to get, get, get it inside. She does. Johnson swings it back around to Cousins. Who gets it back. She's going to try the three. She's blocked by Hannah Alti, who then steals it away. And she's going to get fouled on that one. And great possession from Hannah Alti. The block and the steal. going to be sideline Mystics ball. We've got 8.55 to go in the fourth quarter. Kelshaw. Furtado. Khalil, she's got space. Looks like she has the space there. Passes around to Kelshaw who swings it to Bellis. Bellis drives and she is going to get the foul. She's going to head to the line. Um, she takes a, a tough hit on the way to the basket. Bellis shooting two. First shot doesn't go. And second one doesn't fall either. And it's going to be back with the Valkyries. Konomi. She's going against Bellis off the screen from Middleton. Passes back to Middleton. Great pick and roll. And it's just going to. Yep, tapped out of bounds by the Mystic. Sorry, I've got a ref and a camera tripod in my eye line, so we had to see that one. Cousins straight over to Golab. Her three doesn't fall. As Alti comes up with it. Dives on the floor. Ball's loose. Potato comes away with it. Kelshaw. Grinning. <laughs> I think she was pleased she wasn't diving on the floor. Khalil swings it round to Bellis, who just can't keep a hand on it, and it goes back to the Valkyries. So, Mystics with a 68 33 lead here, two minutes gone in the fourth quarter. Konomi over to Golab. She's driving inside, shots up and rolls around, touches everything on the rim except falls in. Middleton manages to get the rebound though, as her shot's blocked by Becky Bellis. And Furtado brings it up for the Mystics. The need Kelsha control things. And again, another play with WBBL experience. We saw her with the Newcastle Eagles a couple of seasons ago. Came over to the Manchester Mystics in Division 2. Furtado swings it around to Khalil. Khalil with the easy basket. And Rukhana Khalil is pretty much a threat from everywhere. You don't want to leave her alone uh, anywhere on the court. She's got uh, 11 points in today's game. As Konomi directs things for the Valkyries. Spins. Hands it off. Golab's there. As Johnson goes against Khalil. Three on the shot clock. And that's going to be a offensive foul against the Valkyries. Mystics doing a really good job of drawing those charges. As Melody Stephen comes into the game for Chloe Cousins for the Valkyries. Kelshaw brings the ball up from the Mystics. 
Pelshaw into Alti, gets it back, swings it round. Bellis is going to try the three, and that doesn't drop for her. Konomi and the Valkyries coming back. Konomi hands it off to Golab. Golab's going up against Alti. It's a tough bit of a mismatch there. Khalil gets it over to Kelshaw. Alti, short jumper, and nothing but net for Hannah Alti on that one. Konomi pulls up for three and can't hit. Middleton gets the rebound, having to hand it off. And Stephen's shot is just a bit too long. Khalil comes powering down the court, passes over to Furtado. Bellis has got space there. Her three is up and that's not going to fall. Khalil can't quite keep a hold on it for the rebound. Bellis' shot looks really good from here, just a bounce down at a, an angle there. Johnson inside to Middleton. She passes it over. Konomi's there for three, and that's not going to drop. Valkyrie's having a, a few good looks, but not able to get the ball to drop as that three is too strong off the board. Alti comes up with the rebound. Bellis inside to Alti. Great pass finished off by Hannah Alti. The court awareness there of Becky Bellis to get it inside to Hannah Alti, who had space underneath the basket. A fantastic move. And again, Becky Bell is doing a bit of everything today. Rebounding, scoring, she's getting in on the assists as well. Real strong all-round team performance from the Mystics today. Golab kicks it out. Johnson over to Konomi. Got five on the shot clock. Konomi's shot is up and off the glass, but that's too strong. Khalil gets the rebound. Khalil with a no-look to Alti. Patado to Kelshaw. And turnover, Mystics. Back with the Valkyries. Rahana Khalil's no look passes are very impressive to see in person. You've got to be, uh, she's, she can get the ball anywhere on the court. You've got to be very aware that the ball can just come to you when you're playing on court with her. They're going to come out of nowhere. Konomi, four on the shot clock. Valkyries need to get something up. Golab's shot is up and it's a bit shot again. Looks like Becky Bellis got a bit of a hand on that one. So we're having a substitution here for the Mystics. Grace Tuck, Holly Bryan and Natalie Lamb come into the game. As we get a timeout called. So, just under five minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Mystics have a 74-33 lead over the Manchester Valkyries. They're led by Becky Bellis with 13 points. And Rahana Khalil and Natalie Lamb have 11. Hannah Alti on 10. So Valkyries were able to come out of halftime in the third quarter and make uh, quite an impact scoring-wise on the third. Um, they've not quite been able to replicate that in the fourth quarter, but the Mystics have just, again, even though they're up, they've really turned up their defence, you know, put the pressure on. It's really difficult for uh, teams to, to compete with when it's, um, it's relentless, essentially. But that's, again, that's something that the club and especially these players on the team have talked about a lot. Hannah Alti's spoken about being a very defensive-minded player. Um, Holly Bryan has as well, you know, defence le leads to offence, she told me last season, which is very true, and it does in their case. So for the Valkyries, these last five minutes, you just want to, to see them be able to just get some points on the board, just get um, get to their spots. It's working well. They've, they've been getting the open shots, they've been getting some good luck, it's just not been falling for them. Sometimes it's just a, a case of if it bounces one way, it's your day, and if it doesn't, it's not your day. But let's see what they can do in the last last five minutes of the game. So Khalil over to Lamb. Lamb with the high arc on that three. Doesn't go. And Khalil steals it away. And again, Mystic's not giving up any kind of pressure on defense. Alti to Brian. Brian with the three. And she, oh, in and out. Unlucky. But who's there for the rebound? Grace Tuck puts it back in. Can't get it to fall, though. As Asante has it for the Valkyries. And then Holly Bryan steals it away. On the break, all alone. Lays it. Oh, can't get it to finish. She does get her own rebound, though. Back to Alti and Hannah Alti. <laughs> with a easy bunny under the basket. She's not going to be too pleased with that one. But uh, Mystics 
manage to, to keep it on their side. They'll Hannah will want that one back, I think. So Alte to Brian, off the glass, no good, but Rihanna Khalil's there to clean up and just pats it back in. She's now got 13 in the game, matching Becky Bellis. And again, putting the pressure on double teaming and forcing a Valkyrie's turnover. Ryan over to Lamb. Brian Tuck in the corner for three. Grace Tuck doesn't get that one to go. And Grace Tuck, a player I've been very impressed watching in the uh, Female Basketball Associ Association, Jade Bow Butters. As that three is banked in for the Valkyries. Asante with a big three. Grace, yeah, Grace Tuck playing in the Female Basketball Association set up by Jade Bo Butters and her sisters with her Hannah Khalil as well as Holly Bryan tries a three, doesn't go. Khalil's there for the rebound and the putback. Two in a row for Rahana Khalil, 15 in the game for her. As she gets her hand on that one, she's just doing a bit of everything. Very, very good defensive player is Rahana Khalil. We saw it on display in the National Cup final when she was playing for Stockport back in January. And you can see it all season long for the Manchester Mystics here in D2. So it's gonna be a, an exciting team to watch, definitely. As Grace Tuck nearly steals that one away. Asante drives inside, can't get that floater to go. Brian comes up with it, over to Lamb. Lamb, and doesn't fall, but she's gonna head to the line. Uh, just the speed of Natalie Lamb to get out there on the break and uh, get the get the pass, get to the back. It wasn't. She looks like she's frustrated with missing the shot, but it was a tough shot. She's done a great job to get there and draw the foul. So Lamb steps to the line for two. First shot's no good. Second one just rolls out, but Holly Bryan grabs the rebound, passes it over to Alti. Khalil into Bryan. Tuck swings it round. Lamb gets it back. Tuck shot is up and no good. Lamb gets the rebound. Too strong on that one. Back into the hands of the Valkyries. Perryman passes it off to Johnson. Asante inside, knocked away by Brian, but it's going to go out of bounds. That's going to no, it's going to go back to the Mystics again. Still putting the pressure on with one minute thirty-seven to go. It's great to see. Khalil swings it over to Tuck. Brian into Alti. Tuck gets it back. Three is up, and that one's not going to drop. Stephen. Driving to the basket, hands it off. Short jumper's no good. Offensive rebound, a oh, great, oh, great pass, but just stolen away by Khalil. Over to Lamb. She manages to swing it round. She's just going to step out of bounds on that one. That was a tough, uh, a tough possession. So just over a minute to go in the fourth. Mystics with a 42-point lead. Asante. She's guarded by Lamb. Lamb's been a pest on defence all game long and forces the turnover there into the hands of Holly Bryant. Manages to keep control of it. Entering the last minute over to Lamb. Baseline to Khalil's. Stolen away by Stephen. Asante. A little got a hand on it, but Santa manages to keep it under control. Her three is up, and that one's just too strong. Brian's there for the rebound, bringing it up for the Mystics. Khalil into Alti. Lamb, her three is up, and that is good. Nothing but net. Natalie Lamb, another huge three. 
takes her to 14 to lead all scorers in today's game. And I'm just going to get knocked in the face with the ball, unfortunately. <laughs> she looks like she's fine. Uh, sorry, Rahana Khalil is on 15. Natalie Lamb is on 14 for the game. And Becky Bellis on 13. Very, again, very, very impressive performances from the Mystics. 0 0.5 on the shot clock. Valkyries will put the three up to end it. And that's going to do it. 81 to 36. The Mystics beat the Manchester Valkyries in their first game of the D2 season. The 2022-23 season. Really impressive performance from the Manchester Mystics. As he said, 15 points from Rahana Khalil, 14 from Natalie Lamb, Becky Bellis with 13 and Hannah Alti dropping in 10 as well. Really, really strong defensive performance. You've got to think they're going to be pleased with that. They've set the tone, they've set the standard for themselves this season and that's what you're going to see from them a lot throughout the, the course of the year. And the Valkyries, a tough, I guess a tough introduction to the, the D2 world, but you know, they can take some positives out of that because they had a very strong third quarter. Coming up against the Mystics defense is always a very tough ask for people, but they were able to, you know, they were able to, to counter it at times. And, you know, I think it's a, it's a long season. They've got a lot of games to play. There's definitely a lot of talent on this team as well when you see it. Um, you know, Melissa Golab able to just get to the basket and drive, drive inside. Sometimes the shots don't fall and that's just how it goes. But a lot to come from this Manchester Valkyries team. So make sure to, to keep an eye on them this season. And we'll see, we'll see them again in the, uh, the away leg. So that will do it from us here at the Manchester Basketball Centre. Again, apologies for any issues with the picture. It's an internet issue which we are trying to get fixed. Uh, we'll upload the game afterwards. So you've got a full copy. Um, and we we'll hope to have it sorted for the next home game, which will be next Sunday, the 23rd, 5.30 p.m. tip-off against the Bronze Grove Bears in the National Cup. Thanks for joining us. If you like what you saw, please uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to the Manchester Magic and Mystics YouTube channel to keep up to date with all the information on the games. And until then, we will see you next time.